What's up, no coder? Zaz here. Today, I'm going to be showcasing the embed feature on card to show you how you can add a functional live pricing page to your card website that your users can then use to purchase a service. Let's jump into it. So if you haven't heard of card before, it's a simple, free, fully responsive one page um, web builder that's really great for anything from an MVP landing page to a portfolio or a contact card. Um, they have beautiful templates that you can work off of and it's extremely intuitive, so I highly recommend it. I'm gonna jump into my project to show you how I've done this. So I went ahead and created this landing page along with these cool illustrations that I got from a Figma artist. So I can link that in the description below. And I've gone ahead and created this pricing section, right? So the way to do that is, let me just recreate it so that I can show you guys how I did this. I added a container within that. I added some text. I went into the appearance here and I said I want a header too. I updated the text in that, and then I added a paragraph as well. I'm gonna delete this because you can see that I've, I've done it. So now from here, I actually want to add another container. I'm gonna drag it above, right below this pricing section, and I want to give that a height of auto. And from there, we're also going to add this embed element, right? Awesome. So here, let me move my face. So as you can see now, um, we have this container that's holding this embed code. And we're going to label this service bot. Service about pricing and keep it in line. And then here it gives us a little space for our script, right? So let's just jump into, well, let's jump into products real quick. So here it, within Stripe, I've already gone ahead and created two products. And each of these products has a yearly and a monthly pricing. And let me show you guys how I've set this up real quick. So I have my product name, which doesn't really matter. You can add product description as well. Um, and I've added two different metadatas. So one is SV underscore service, and I've called that card. This is what ServiceBot will use to group your tiers together. And I also have a SB underscore tier tag, and I've called this basic. So I have, and within that, I have two different pricings, a yearly, which is set up like this with a price description of basic yearly that's going to show up on the checkout form. And I've done the same thing, but with my monthly pricing as well. Very basic, very easy. I've saved my products. I've saved my products and I went into ServiceBot where I created a pricing page. And from here, you're gonna select the service that you just created, configure your pricing settings as well as your checkout settings. If you wanna add features, you go ahead and do that right here. And I also went ahead and customized the look and feel. So I have custom CSS in here, which I can share with whoever wants it. And that's about it. So I configured my billing page in ServiceBot of how I want it to look and saved it. Embed, you select HTML code. Let's copy this code. Go back to card and then just Paste that script in there. 
done. Now we won't be able to see this pricing page until we publish, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, publish changes. Okay, well, take us to view the site. Nice, nice. And there we have it, a functional live pricing page. Um, but you're probably asking yourself, how do we know if this works? Well, let's test it out. I want a, I want this basic tier. So I select that and right away we see basic monthly. I'm gonna be charged $10 a month. Let's go ahead and fill out that form. Confirm. And let's go back to Stripe. Go to your customers tab. And there we have it. It works. This is in test mode, um, but if you wanted to push it live, then all you'd have to do is upgrade your account and toggle this live and you'll be ready to go. So if you have a service with multiple different tiers or packages that you want to be selling, this is the way to do it. It's very easy. You can set it up within minutes and begin monetizing on your services. All right, no coders, this was fun. Let me know what you thought of this video. Um, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and let me know what you'd like to see next. Until next time. Bye, everyone.